Hi, this is Jessica Robin, and today we're showcasing Mari's workflow with a quick example on how to make and use custom alphas in Substance Painter. First, draw out a couple of the smallest repeatable elements. Save the images as PNG files of white shapes on a transparent background. Also, export the UV maps from Blender and save them as PNG files as well. Make a new project in your 2D painting application and fill the first layer to be a solid color other than white. Import a UV map and select the islands to focus on. Copy and paste the selection into a new layer and hide the original UV layer. Resize the islands to fill the whole canvas. Import the repeatable elements as new layers. Shrink and set them aside or hide them temporarily. Add a new layer above the island layer and take the Bezier tool to make a white stem. Use the UV map as a reference to make the ideal curve in that stem. Transform the first two elements around the stem to make the first branch. To quickly make a variation of the branch, merge the stem and leaf layers and create a duplicate. Drag the duplicate up and transform the remaining element to take the place of the star. Merge the layers so that each branch gets its own layer. Then, duplicate the two branch layers and flip them horizontally across the canvas to make their mirrored versions. Once the variation branches are made, line them up along the UV maps to make the vine. Make groups or folders to chunk off the vines. Alpha stamps cannot be too big, and chunking them gives you a better control anyway. Once you are satisfied with the vine's alignment, resize each chunk to fit the whole canvas and export them as PNG files. Now, open the Substance Painter file. Create a new fill layer. Right click and add a black mask. Go to File, Import Resources, Click Add Resources and select the images you need. Then, change the type of resources from Undefined to Alpha. Import your resources to Shelf and hit Import. Once the alpha stamps are imported, click on the black mask you added just now. Then pick a stamp from the shelf of alphas. 
Notice how the alpha shape in the Properties panel updates to your custom stamp. While you are in the Properties panel, make sure that the alignment is set to UV and the size space is set to Viewport. Also, make sure that the grayscale bar at the bottom is set all the way to the 1. Hover over the UV map and adjust the size of the stamp. Simply click on the alpha images from the shelf to update the active alpha stamp. Make use of the preset alphas and the shift key to drag and draw lines across the map. Pay attention to the hardness bar right underneath the alpha shape button and set it to 1 for clear edges. If you need to erase a mark you made, go down to the grayscale bar at the bottom and set it all the way to zero. And there it is. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or ideas for what you'd like to see in the future, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one from the Timefire VR team.